Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and holy crap, whether the past few days I've seen so much stuff about Forge being, I guess, leaked in the co-op campaign flights, and I'm, my conspiracy theory is that 343 knew that people were going to find it, knew that people were going to data mine and mess around with it because, you know, they've already done it before in other flights. So it's just kind of like a, a known thing, I feel like, at this point. It's almost like marketing the game without marketing it. So that might be a conspiracy theory. So my question to you all before we get into the video is, do you think that Forge will be this, you know, saving grace for Halo Infinite? Do you think it's just a, you know, a piece to the larger puzzle that is Halo Infinite's ecosystem? Or do you think it won't have any effect whatsoever? But I'm not going to lie. Some of the stuff that we've you know, scene coming out of the Forge leaks, I guess, with people getting their hands on it, is nothing short of amazing. I won't lie. I, I'm actually, I thought that Forge was going to be good, you know, on par with 5, if not better. Obviously, you would think better because it's a new iteration of Forge, but with how everything has been going, I had my doubts. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you all for all the major support that you've given the channel. Look, we are under 5 hundred subs away from hitting 10,000 and I know that there is 500 of you that are going to watch this video that aren't subscribed and I also know that you've watched my previous video so just go ahead and do it let's be friends but with that out of the way let's get into the video let's just roll some clips you know and just talk about them real quick a lot of this stuff comes from Mr. Rebs on Twitter some of the discords I will try to provide all the links and whatnot make sure you check the description follow them you know because they're they're posting a ton of stuff so um also Suraj's apparently back not on Twitter but he's posting stuff some of the first things that people were messing with were like lighting and you know forge effects and this gives a very creepy vibe I I actually like it love that Craig is in the background on the wall flashing something that i think is super cool that's probably going to go under the radar is the fact that you can alter materials with different other materials so apparently this is asphalt and dirt type a and they were combined to create the ground and i think that that looks sick you can also weld together vehicles so the two clips we're going to see are some um, mongoose, mongooses welded together. It's pretty funny. And then somebody welded the saber with a banshee to make it f drivable, flyable. And that's sick. I'm like, it's, it's the little things. We also see a failed recharge map, which shows off the display effects and light bouncing. There are billboards in the game. And something that I think is super important that I have been begging for 343 to do is the environment lighting on maps. So, like, to me, this is an easy thing because we only have however many BTB maps, four or five, whatever it is. But if you change, you know, that from daytime to nighttime or nighttime to daytime, then you have, you know, different experiences. It's almost like doubling the amount of maps in the game. It just breaks up the monotony. There's also things like lightning strikes... You can scale objects. There's also teleporters and the ability to change weather. You can create custom power-ups. And there seems to be just a ton of material customization. So to me, I will say that while, you know, Forge isn't widely used to the point where it's going to provide, you know, thousands and thousands of players the ability to create cool content... I do think that there's going to be like a top 1% user base that is able to make stuff that's almost as good as developer main. And that is the saving grace that Forge brings. So you can create an influx of content that's user generated into the actual game. Like 343 can go through, you know, pick the top maps and throw them into matchmaking. We'll also have fun game modes. I can't wait to see things like Jenga and, you know, Fat Kid. All those things that we've been missing. Halo Infinite needs that social aspect so bad. And this is just one more thing that we can, you know, check off the list. My, my true belief and hope is that they're adding all these things before, like, a huge relaunch of the game. So when people do inevitably come back, you know, there's Forge and a custom game browser. Maybe there's some PvE replayability. I know we're getting the mission select and co-op campaign, but, like, just need a firefight, man. And with the challenge system reworked, and it's just so on and so on and so on. And maybe a BR, who knows, but 
that's what I think is happening, is that we're getting this stuff kind of in increments so that there is this huge base foundation um, for whatever they want to do in the future. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.